Well, there have been some surprises in my life, but there's another one just about coming up. And that is a publication of a book. It's a book with the simple title, St. John Fisher. And it's a book, the substance of which I wrote nearly 35 years ago. And the surprise to me has been that people who know about that period of history well have said it's still worth reading. So this book will contain a thesis that I wrote, which was completed in 1976. I thoroughly enjoyed all the research and the study and the writing because it took me to Yorkshire, where John Fisher grew up, it helped me to understand what parish life was like at the end of the 15th century. Then it took me to Cambridge, where he studied. It helped me to understand what theological study was like at the end of the 15th century. And then it took me into his life as a theologian and a bishop, very relevant today. As a bishop, he took great care of his parishes. And indeed, his founding of a college in Cambridge was precisely to help priests preach better in those days. Some issues never change. But then, of course, he got involved in the controversies concerning Martin Luther and the challenges to Catholic teaching about the sacraments, about the place of scripture, about how faith operates in our lives. And then I was able to study those things as well and find in them some real encouragement. And I also delved into his own soul, his own pattern of prayer, how important scripture was for him in prayer, how important the Psalms were. And I began to understand the depth of this man, who was a bishop and a theologian in times of controversy, at times of the Reformation, but most importantly of all, is a saint. So I'm very, very grateful to Alive Publishing for taking on the project of publishing this thesis. I hope you'll buy it. I hope you'll read it. And if you do both of those things, I'm sure you'll enjoy it.